Hello and welcome to Informatica Support Video KB session. I am Sugi Narayana. In this session, we will briefly go over the new data integration hub product from Informatica. Specifically, we can go over how to create a simple publication using data integration hub. Agenda for this session, we will see what data integration hub is. We'll go over a simple publication flow and I'll also show you a demo of a publication workflow. Data Integration Hub is an application integration solution which helps any organization to share the data between different applications inside and outside of the organization. It uses a publish subscribe model. So an application can publish data once to a central repository and one or more applications can subscribe and consume the data with independent schedules. Once all the subscribers consume the data and the retention period expires, Data Integration Hub can delete the data from the publication repository. This publication repository is also called a DIH staging repository. So here is a high level flow. So Data Integration Hub basically kicks off uh, the power center workflow. Power center again is the heart of this product. And the power center workflow is responsible for pulling the data from the publisher and it loads it to the data integration hub publication repository or also known as the staging repository. And it notifies back to data integration hub that this process is complete. And once the notification is received, Data Integration Hub can go ahead and notify or trigger all the subscribers, uh, subscribers so, so that they can consume uh, the data. So that's the high level flow. Let's go over a simple example, a stock publisher that I have. Um, so here is my source table. I just took a very simple uh, example for this. Um, a stock price is a table name and it has a bunch of data uh, related to the info stocks uh, with a high price, low price and the current date time etc. And uh, there is another repository, staging repository. That's a connection to the staging repository. Right now it doesn't have anything. So let's go over the data integration hub admin console and see how we can create a publication flow. So within the data integration hub admin console, this is the admin console if you are already familiar with DX, it's pretty much uh, will look the same. I have created the source connection for TSORA 10G source where the stock price uh, a table by itself is present. So I'll go for creating a publication application. So I'll, say, I'll just say application, the application name is, let's say stock application okay so I'll just go for is going in for talking about the publication subscriptions contacts and categories associated with it let's just create this application I'll just save this and uh, the stock application now I go for creating a new publication so I'll name it as publish stock. So here it uh, gives you two options, um, a delta and full. So when you select uh, delta, the publication instance contains only the latest data changes. Uh, if you choose this publication type, verify that the data source includes the delta indicators also. If you choose the full one, um, it means that the it means that the publication contains all of the data changes that occurred after the last publication. So it's going to do a full push of the data from the source. So let me just go over the defaults, select Delta, and it also gives you an automatic mapping or custom mapping 
wherein if you see if you say automatic mapping since you have the connections everything defined uh, DAH the data integration server hub server will automatically create a power center workflow which will associate this connection information and everything to that workflow so that it pulls the data from the publisher and stores it to the staging repository so I'll go with the custom mapping you can create your own power center mapping and then import that here uh, and make data integration server hub use that particular mapping instead of auto mapping I'll go with the auto mapping for simplicity sake I don't have any parameters uh, since it's automatic mapping I'm just going with uh, no parameters so the data database connection so here's where I go for giving the publisher connection and uh, I'm going to select the table say as part of this table I have a table my name table by name uh, stock price select that and it gives me with all the columns everything as part of this table so I'm going to take that one I'm not going to choose any schedule for this publication even though you can choose this publication to be run minute hourly daily and different schedule types are available I'm just going to make it done which means you know I'm going to run this publication manually and this is the retention period that I talked about by default it is set to seven days let's go ahead and finish this one so I hit finish on this one so the data integration hub server is now going in for uh, creating the automatic mapping which corresponds to uh, the publication basically pulling the data from the publisher so if you're familiar with uh, the power center side if you take a look at the um, repository that you have power center repository that you have associated with the data integration hub you will see that there are uh, folders and mappings workflows everything created corresponding to this publication You can see that it has created DAH pub, publish info, publish stock, everything it has created. Okay, so this is for the publish that part of it. This is for the publish stock, whatever we were talking about. So with this one, we can just let me just show you. But so I'm going into the workflow manager to, to show you the new one I'm just disconnecting and reconnecting it back so that it shows the new set of folders So we can see for the publish stock whatever the publication that we have created so it has created this folder dah underscore underscore pub underscore publish stock at within this particular folder it would have created the publication workflow that is needed for pulling the data from the publisher and uh, to publish it to the DAH staging repository are also known as the publication repository okay so so this will have every information associated the connections integration service everything you know connected and uh, it's all set for uh, pulling the data from the publisher and loading it to the uh, staging repository so what we'll do is well, let's go back and this is the publish uh, stock 
application that we created. Let's go ahead and run this particular publication. I said run publication, I say yes. If you come back, so you can say this publish stock application, uh, application stock application with the publication name publish stock. It has created an event ID 7010. It's in pending status now. Let's see what's happening here. So you can see that the publish stock by itself has got kicked off. This workflow has got kicked off and it also completed. It basically succeeded publishing all the data to the staging repository. So let's go ahead and check the staging repository. So here is a staging repository that I configured. Originally it had only one table. Now you can see the unique table name that it created with us for the uh, stock price publication. And you will see that um, there is a publication instance ID and instance date. Uh, these two columns are there along with whatever the data that we pulled in. So this uniquely identifies a particular publication at any point of time. So you can see that every data is uh, published from the publisher uh, table to the staging repository. So now since you have all the publication available, you can go ahead and uh, create a subscriber. And once you have the subscriber like created, and that subscriber will automatically kick off and pull the data from the staging repository and push it to whatever the target it needs and which is when the event will go to a completion. So the event will get to a completion status once uh, uh, this process is complete. Okay, I hope, uh, I hope this uh, session was helpful demonstrating a simple uh, publication flow. Uh, please try it uh, more yourself and uh, thank you very much for watching this video KB session.